Anchors up, sells it full. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Yes. Hi. Hi. Doing well. How are you doing today, Austin? Hello, Kyle. <laughs> oh, we're we're doing hey, a. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. Jeremy grew up so fast. That that's a Discord joke. For, <laughs> you're only getting that. You're that that's a, that is a Discord insider joke right there. If you want to be inside the Discord jokes, discord.thesloopcast.com. Always be plugging. Um, it's a it's a new tradition. It's a good tradition. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. We're doing a three handed podcast today, which means, you know, we're doing something special. And I'm going to go ahead and say the classic line. Let's not waste any time. Let's do it. We are doing today. We've done this once before. It is officially our time to do it again this year. This is the big game draft. This is the big game draft. What is this? This is the episode in which we play the role of Fox, NBC, and CBS and choose our big game, our big 10 games in a draft like fashion. This is based off of a thing that actually happens. Do, are we following those rules to a T? No, we are not. Because it's more complicated than simply this. Are we? A lot. Yeah. Are we doing this more like a uh, fantasy football draft? Yeah, that, that's that's a more accurate way of saying it. But instead of picking players, we're picking football games. Here are the rules. There are 14 weeks this year. They added an extra bye week uh, to help with the players because, you know, you might you have the playoff this year. They might be playing extra games. So they moved the schedule one week up. And now teams have the opportunity to do two separate bye weeks. That's that's what we're doing, or that's what college football is doing now. So last year when we did this, we drafted 13 games plus two wild card games, which are basically everyone has to pick a game for all 14 weeks. You have to fill your schedule, you have to have a game every week. But just to add a little bit of fun in there, we decided to also give ourselves two wildcard games just to keep things interesting. Just so someone couldn't just be like, oh, well, the other guys have already both picked a week 14 game. Let me make this a bit interesting. You know, let me just not pick a week. No, we're, we, didn't, we didn't want any shenanigans. So we had two wildcard games in there. Um, did I miss anything, uh, guys? Is, is there a rule I'm missing? Did I, did I get everything covered? I think you got it all. Did yeah. I get it? Just well, they're good. Take there's, there's, there's one thing we don't know yet. However, we don't know who is what network yet. Uh, Fox picks first. NBC picks second. CBS picks third. So we'll figure out who. We'll yeah. Figure out who it is here. Right now we're rolling for Fox. Uh, if you're not watching on the the YouTube channel, we have a magical spinning wheel up. So that's also just just want to be clear here, Jared. Are we doing a fixed draft or a snake draft? Uh, my understanding is we're doing a fixed draft, but we got three people here. If two people want to vote snake, that's, that's enough. That's think, that's I democracy. Think, I think fixed is easier. Yeah, just let's just keep it that. fixed. Cool. All right. Fox picks first, so we will roll for Fox first. And we roll. And I really hope. Dead air. Oh. Oh. I, I hope. Oh. I hope oh. Kyle gets Dude, Fox. Kyle. Well, there goes any chance we had to get in that game, Jerry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Check one off. <laughs> we will remove Kyle, and the winner of this one gets NBC. And it, as you're. If you look in our um, Excel here, you'll note, Jared, that the one well, first game has been picked already. <laughs> I, I did notice that, Kyle. Yes. Uh, Jared, which is that's me. Uh, I'll be picking for NBC so and be picking spikes. second. Crazy. Rigged. All right. Let's let's roll to see who gets CBS. All right. All right. Just 
Just rub it in, Jerry. Just rub it in. Austin! All of my all of my mock drafts are from this three slot anyway, so I think it works out. Congratulations, Austin. <laughs> all right. Let's get the board up. Kyle has already picked. Um, and Wasting no time. Or, 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 or should I take the full 10 minutes of the first pick of the first round here? Should I take the full 10 no, minutes No, please do not. Okay. All right. Well, we're going this to wait till week 14. Draft, yeah. Week 14. Let's get the game out of, out of there. Everyone's saying rigged. We saw this coming. This is how Liberty dies with thunderous applause. Listen, if I was going to rig it, don't you think I would have Fox? Come on, guys. Did last year. You did have Fox did last year. year. I did have Fox last Fox. year. Yeah, I still have CBS. So. All right, NBC, you are up. Who you got next? All right. I am. Um, I am NBC. Nope. I, I, I know, I know, I know it's, I, I, I had to add that for everyone just so I had an easy thing to copy and paste. It's fine. All right. Don't worry about all it. All right. I'm going to week seven mm-hmm. where mm-hmm. I will be taking Ohio state versus Oregon. I am not at know. all mad about that. Um, because that's kind of a, it's kind of a crap pick. week outside of that. Not only is that a great pick, it's also, like not a good week of games in general. So it's kind of also kind of a high value pick, but you always have, it doesn't matter. You take Ohio state, Michigan first, but I think this is actually the most valuable game on the schedule based, based purely off of. Okay, cool. Well, (laughs) and I'll explain why. Sure. Yeah, please go right ahead. I actually had Ohio State and Oregon as my number three game. Obviously, the game was number one. But my number two game, which I think comes from a week where there's even less big games, and importantly, Michigan's still going to be somewhat relevant week two when they play Texas. Mm -hmm. And people are going to care about that game. So I will take week two, Texas at that team up north. Austin and I on the same wavelength here. I have have a little notepad of my... Top twenty games here. Yeah, top that was that. Yep. That was my number two. I week two is also pretty light and marquee games, so I, I, I totally get what you're saying. God, I can't mm-hmm. wait to watch the meltdown in Ann Arbor. Says Gangland. It's gonna be a good time. Texas is going to throttle them, but it'll be much. It's it's games. it's gonna be disgusting. Fair. Like. It, it, the it's it's it listen i'm looking forward to it as an ohio state fan that's that's all i'm saying hey man texas is really good this year like they could very yeah. well win it all mm-hmm. I, it, it's you know, we've said it before you know, it's a it, i think it's a four-team race this year um texas oregon ohio state and georgia yep you know this is an ohio state podcast but i hate to mention michigan again here for a second pick in a row, but uh, yeah. I'm going to pick Michigan here in week four. Oh, because week four, I think, is a very like lackluster week. So I'm getting I'm getting yeah. the big game out of there. USC in Ann Arbor there. That was up there for me. Week four is, is rough. Week four is is also pretty rough. Um, I think there's some other good games in there personally but yeah it's it's not a great week um yeah uh taking a quick look here um if we are if we're looking for some good games which is obviously what we're doing here um i I I think the next best game to pick is is in a week where there's also a lot of other good games to pick. I so agree. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use that I'm not gonna use that one yet, and I'm also not gonna say what it is for I obvious reasons. Is. I bet you I I honestly bet you can bet you there's can three guess games that week. Yeah, yeah. There there's absolutely three games that week. So. I'm going to take a bit of a weird detour, I think. And I'm going to go to week three. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
because I don't think there's a lot of good games this week in the Big Ten. But I do think that there is one good game that's better than the rest. Interesting. At the very least. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's yeah. Alab- sorry, it's Alabama uh versus Wisconsin. And you always said, Jared, you always said that uh that Nick Saban would never go up north. I I he did not but called it. A few times where Jared was actually right. bullshit. I know. No, <laughs> I, I know it's the bit. I know it's the bit. But when it comes to like long term predictions, uh, I'm batting a thousand. Yeah, that's fair. Short short <laughs> short term <laughs> predictions, not so much. Long term projections, long term predictions. I'm a I'm a champion. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take my victory lap on that one. All right. Yeah, I'll give that to you. Um, I, I marked two games as got to get it, um, not counting the first three picks because I didn't think that any of these picks would go to the first three picks. And one of them's already been taken by you guys uh, getting the uh, Oregon-Michigan mm-hmm. game, I think it was. But the other game I'm going to go to a week where there is not much either, and that is week 13. Uh, in week 13, I'm going to take color on color, USC at UCLA mm-hmm. with the powder blues and the, the I don't even know, it's like crimson red, whatever it is. Um, first Big Ten game between USC and UCLA out west. There's not that much Week 13, so I want to go ahead and get that marked off. Yeah, no, that's that's a good pick. I think I think you could say that with a lot of weeks too, where there's some weeks is like, oh, maybe there's one in here. Maybe I should take that one. But no, I yeah, Week 13 is a, I think could be a, um, I think yeah, that's definitely it's the scraps. highlight. That's yeah. that's the highlight of that week. But there's a, there's a couple of other. Yeah, there, there's a couple of other uh, options in there, but yeah, key the key game in the Big Ten, yeah, definitely USC and UCLA that week. All right, where should we go next here? A lot, a lot of options here. So I think that the next thing I had on here, kind of with the lackluster games and some teams that haven't been haven't been well. Um, Played well. I'm almost tempted to go to week. I'm going to go with week um, nine. Okay. Oh, interesting. I'm going to go to week nine, and I am going to. I'm going to hit a Penn State, heading on over to Wisconsin in week nine. Kyle, I'm just going to say it. Feels like the first reach of the draft. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I feel I, like there's more games that week, and there's other bigger games that are available. You know, if if you know, I'll, I'll wait to I'll wait till others pick week nine <laughs> here. But we'll see. Yeah, you got your wild cards if you want to use them. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, wild cards on the table for sure. All right, Jared, who you got next? Who do I got next? Um, I think I'm, 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 I, this is the point where we start struggling as far as like, do I take a relatively low marquee game? Like, you know, Kyle did there in a week that's valuable, or do I just start taking some, some big time games? Yeah. Um, and I'm going to try and find, I'm going to try and find a a decent mix in between those two. Um, This one's a gamble. I think it's a gamble I'm going to take. Because I think both of these teams are going to be good, but I'm not sure that both of these teams are going to be good. I'm going to go to week 12. Uh Uh-oh. Oh, not not where you thought I was going. No, it was not. I'm going to go to week 12. I'm going to go Oregon at Wisconsin. I like it. Yeah, I don't mind that. It's yeah, I, it's... Other options that week, it, I, I'd like where your head's at. It's... Yeah, there are other options that... Ga- I, again, it depends upon how good Wisconsin is. And they could be great. 
well, I don't want to say great. They could be pretty good, or they could be five and good, six. good enough. But I think they're good enough to beat Wisconsin or to beat Oregon since it's in Wisconsin. Yeah, in Madison for sure. So I, you know, I think it's a va- I think it's a valuable TV product because it could be a big game late against a team that is playoff bound. Um, you know, might be team, might be other teams, other fans out there looking for some sort of upset that game. I'm shocked that this game is still here. I know that it is um, not necessarily the biggest game with the new teams in the Big Ten, but I would assume that this is going to be the whiteout game. And to market that and to be able to ha- say I have Ohio State, hopefully you know, at that point 8-0, and traveling to Happy Valley to take on Penn State in their whiteout game, I feel like that's super marketable for the, you know, ninth pick in the draft. So I'm going to go to week 10 and I'm going to take that. Yeah. That was, that was the week I was that literally exactly what I was talking about when I said, that's the game I want to pick, but that there's other really good games that week. And there are. Yeah. But we're, we're starting to get to the point now where you start best game available, you know, is it best game available or is it the most valuable game based off of what other games are available that week. Yeah, it's it's good convo. It's a good question. Um, I think now is the right time to take it for sure. Good value. Kyle, what you got? Yeah, it's. Yeah, it's tough, tough to decide. Like, should I, should we get one where it's like, oh, there's a second game for a week that's already been picked or keep going in the in the route that we're doing and everybody picking a different week. And I think I'm going to continue that trend. I'm going to go to week six. Yep. I, that was my other thought. I'm going to take, I'm going to take the Hawkeyes heading on over to Columbus. Yeah. Oh, that's not where I thought you were going with that. But I, you know, I, I, can you really go wrong picking any Ohio state game? Exactly. Yeah, that, 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 that's, that's the thing too. Yeah. I mean, All right, I wrote Columbus. Yeah, I mean, the, <laughs> <We're Columbus. laughs> Iowa has a chance to be pretty decent. I mean, you know, they're going to be pretty good defensively at that point in the yeah. season. They they could have one, maybe two losses at most. Like it's it's, it's an easily marketable game. It is. Know? Yeah. It, and that and that's that's why I picked that one. Yeah, there's. I, I think week six, you could you could go along with a couple of other games there and you'd be fine mm-hmm. with it. But I think to me, I, I, I like I like this pick over all of them. Sure. Yeah, I I don't disagree. Jared? My turn. Um, I think you... you, I think there's... Man, it's... It's tough. It's it's starting to get down to that point. (laughs) Where it's... (laughs) I think all of the super obvious choices aren't there anymore. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to do the first one so far. This is the first time, this is the first time we've done this and I'm going to take one from a week that's already been taken. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to go, I'm going to go Oregon at Michigan week 10. Yeah, that's totally fair. That was on my list of top games um right underneath my next pick that also i think is a week where there's not many great games um and it's the national championship rematch that i think will get a lot of views and again it's early and that's my key with a lot of these michigan games that i'm taking they have to be early in the season because i don't think michigan's going to be in it later in the season um so i'm going to take michigan at washington week six I think that's a good pick. A lot of I, if 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 only if only Washington didn't panic. get raided out. <laughs> well, and I only think Washington's raided right now, for, which I think is ridiculous. I know that they lost their coaching staff, and I know that they're not going to be as good this year as they were last year. But I think people are sleeping on them too hard. 
they're still a top six team in the Big Ten. And with I would say know, so. Eighteen teams, or probably, we have eighteen teams on the Big Ten, right? Ugh, math is weird. Eighteen teams in the Big Ten. If you're the top sixteen, you're top third team. You have a chance to at least compete to get to the Big Ten championship. I I think Washington will be obviously not as good as they were last year, but they'll be good enough to get some some eyes on the games. Yeah. You know, this is this one might be a reach here, but I'm looking at this week here and what's available, and it's a shitty week. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go, I'm going to go to week four, and I'm just going to pick the yeah. Ohio State game. That's not a bad <laughs> choice. More yeah, at Ohio State. It, it it is. I mean, it is. Uh, week four. Week that's, four. There. That's our first wild card pick. Did you already take a week four game, Kyle? I did, yeah. Kyle taking the monopoly I on did, week did four. Or do you, do you not want to do that? Do you want to change your mind? I, I'll yeah. let you yeah. come back. I apologize. On yeah. Let, let's. Yeah. <laughs> dough, exactly. Dough. We should just. We should. Let's, let's, let's just made him one. do it. Just make him do yeah. it. Yeah. Let, let's go, let's Sa- go week one. Same logic, week one. Yeah. Week one, Penn State at West oh. Virginia. Uh, okay. Um, is that uh is that Kyle, this is my game? fault. Kyle, this is my fault, but I don't think that game oh, is Oh, not. Oh. Okay. That I because it would be at West Virginia. So that's not yeah, a it's not eligible. I yeah. and and by we're picking off as off of spread. I just want to own this. That's my fault. We're picking off as off of a spreadsheet where I have all of, or at least I tried to mark all of the games that aren't actually owned by the big 10. That's my fault. Okay. All right. Well, I'll pick the, the one could be good game here, North Carolina, Minnesota. Yeah, that's, that's a good, that's where I thought you were going. That's also where I thought you were going. Yeah. I don't hate that. It it is really the only good game that we can, you know, ACC versus Big Ten, people will watch. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Jared, where are you going to go? Um, it's, it, it's, it's really getting down to it. Um, I'm going to go, I'm going to go to week 11. Not a lot of good games to pick in week 11. So I think this is a bit of a value play. It's not the, maybe the huge marquee game, uh, you know, the biggest marquee game left on the mm-hmm. schedule, but I think it's a good value play Washington at Penn state. Yeah, that's that was gonna be my next pick. So I, I like that. Um, and to piggyback a little bit off of that, I will go to week seven for my next game, which is also a PSU game. Um, and I will take uh, two historic programs there with Penn State at USC. Penn State travels out west. Week seven. I don't like a lot of the games that week. I will take that. Yep. Uh. So, uh, Penn was that Penn State Penn USC State week USC seven? Week seven. Yep. Yep. All right. All right. Uh, before the next pick, we're going to go ahead and take a quick ad break here, and um, we will we'll get to the next next few picks. So but, stay but, tuned. We'll get right right back here. And we're back. Thank you, Kyle. I'm glad someone was paying attention to that. Um, yeah. Kyle, yeah, wanna, I I had totally forgot. <laughs> Kyle, if you want to avoid those ads, what what can you do? Yeah, so you could join the, the Discord, uh, Sloopcast Patreon. Uh, yep. Patreon dot All right. Yes. Kyle. There it is. You got me. You got me. <laughs> Go ahead. I, I, I tried to I tried to loop you in. <laughs> All right. Where to go next here? Where to go? You know, I'm going to fo- I'm going to follow suit here. I'm going to I'll, I'll go to week 11. I'll go to week 11 here and I'll pick up the Ohio State game there. Purdue at Smart. Ohio State. Sure. Now, will we see the Purdue magic because it's in Columbus or is the Purdue magic thing purely a it died. <laughs> it Purdue, died. Purdue magic, Purdue magic died. <laughs> okay. It doesn't exist anymore. Fair enough. Uh, How many wild cards do we have? You get two. Two. 
Okay. Well, it works. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, Kyle's over there doing calculations. <laughs> no, I... I I'm definitely not oh, reacting man. and drawing oh. attention to what Gangland said in the chat. Whew. It's your pick. It is My your pick. Turn. It is your pick. I'm picking. Um. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I'm thrown for some reason uh, that I'm not going to talk about. Um, that I'm definitely not going to talk about. Um, this isn't again not a huge marquee game, but it's Ohio State. It's a it's a week where there's not a lot of great Big Ten games, so I'm gonna go to week 13, uh, Indiana at Ohio State. Just we're 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 we're, we're trying to get the branding of Ohio State. That's gonna draw eyes, even if it's against Indiana. Yep, and you know with. With branding, I can't believe that I get to pick this game with the 18th pick. This was one of my top, top games. Yes, it's in week 14 where there's a lot of other good games. But the fact that I'm getting a Big Ten game with Notre Dame traveling <laughs> to USC, yeah. the 18th pick, I will happily take that. Yeah, yeah. You're, I mean, lucky. You're, you're lucky you picked that. That was going to be my first uh, wild card. <laughs> I mean, the fact that it was still around, I mean, I, yeah. I didn't want to necessarily take my week 14 because I feel like there's so many good games that week. Yeah, but that's the this, thing. This late in, the value is just there. Where you, you, you've got to take it if you can. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Kyle, back to you. Oh, choices. Many, many choices here. Um, there's only two weeks. There's only two weeks that uh, we have not picked any games from here. Um, probably for great. five, <laughs> week <laughs> eight. Good, good reason. Good reason for it. I only see. Um, I only see two week five and week eight. That's what he yes. said. Yep. Oh, I thought he said three. My bad. <clears throat> you know, I'm going to go on the my trend here. I'm going to. Keep sticking with Ohio State games here. I'll go with week 12. Since it's that lackluster week there, I'll, I'll, I'll pick up the Ohio State and Northwestern game there. You know what, though? That might actually get a lot of eyes with that being at Wrigley Field. I hadn't considered that, but that's actually kind of fun. I'm sure the tickets for those games will be very high priced, mm -hmm. but that's fun. Yeah, I mean, it's it's also, it, it'll, I mean, from a ticket price standpoint, not only is it Ohio State playing in Wrigley Field, which is fun, but also a lot of the Northwestern games aren't going to have anyone in attendance because they're playing in the goddamn practice field. So all of those Northwestern fans, well, bo both of the, both of the Northwestern fans are going to be really eager to actually be able to watch that game. Hate on me for this, but Nebraska might have some good games. Oh, they will. I think they so. Almost, I mean, two years ago, they played almost entirely one score games. Their games would be fun. Yeah, their their worst loss was a 10 point loss to Ohio State a couple years ago. Now, they, they went totally off the rails last was, year, but it was nine points, I think. Was it nine points? Yeah. He, you know, it was two oh, years man. ago. Yeah. If, if I got that close. Um. All right. So. Now that you've both taken a week 14 game, that's officially made me a little nervous in case one of you take a wild card there. So I'm going to make sure to go ahead and lock down a week 14 game. Um, I apparently didn't. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and grab uh, Washington at Oregon. That was going to be my next pick. So should be thankful. <laughs> but shoot. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, it, 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 just just to screw me over, I get it. Well, yeah. I, you know, I, well, really, my I came into this with 14 games that I thought were the 14 biggest games of the year, no matter the week, um, and I'm picking entirely off of those until they're gone, and then I'll go from there, which leads me to my last game that's on that list, um, which will be my first wild card. Uh, I'm going to go back to week 10. And I'm going to take USC at Washington. That one's going to screw over Kyle a bit. Yep, and that's fine. 
That's fine. It wasn't. No, like be, be angry. Them next. Be angry. Yeah, yeah, of course not. It was the best game left. <laughs> Kyle, it makes for better podcasting if you're mad at Austin. Be mad at Austin. It does. It does. <laughs> it just, no, just. I'll, we we I'll need the, we need those fake controversy like uh, we need we need yeah. to you need to get mad this is just, this is the Stephen A Smith model like you have to get unnecessarily mad so that we can draw you know attention to the show I'll I'll just I'll, I'll get lunch next time in Raleigh how about that all right <laughs> God you guys are so peaceful I'm I'm staying I'm staying on the Ohio State train here we're staying on the Ohio State train. Fox loves it. Fox wants to continue broadcasting yeah. these Ohio State games, and we're going. Even though it's a lackluster week, there's Austin already has the the one game that week. But I'm going to go way early in week two. And give me Western Michigan and Ohio State. I mean, yeah, it's 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 an Ohio State game. It's the brand sells. At the end of the day, the brand sells. It's not the game I thought you were going to, though. Interesting. Ox okay. be a Big Ten network? Probably. Possibly, yeah. <laughs> Most likely. <laughs> All right, Jared. Your seventh round pick? Eighth round pick? Eighth round pick. Halfway there. Halfway there. Living on a prayer. So, um. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gonna 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 go with basically the same concept that Kyle just went to. Gonna lock down an Ohio State game because money. Um, I'm gonna go Ohio State versus Akron. Week one. There's just also just not a lot of great games that week, so let's just mm-hmm. let's just get the money game. Let's get the Ohio State eyes. It's the first game of the season. It's against Akron, but. Yeah, people will be excited to see what Ohio State has Ohio State, going on. I'd, I'd, I'd pick the the week one upset here, where you get the uh, get Fresno State coming to the big house to do the upset. Yeah, but but the good news is I can wait on my week one game because if either one of you takes that as a wild card, <laughs> be my guess. True. But by, by the way, there there are two really good games that week in which Big Ten teams are involved are are involved. Penn State yeah. at West Virginia, USC or yeah, USC versus LSU, but those are both um, not owned by the Big Ten. Yep. But a game that is owned by the Big Ten, which is where I thought both of you were going to go. Um, I will take my Week Nine game, and I will take Nebraska at Ohio State. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's there's a chance Nebraska comes into that game undefeated. Will it happen? Probably not. But there's I, a chance. Sure. There's light up to that point. Okay. Listen, if brand new coaching staff, they're probably going with a true freshman quarterback. Um, so they'll be fun. Thank you for making that. They'll point. be fun. And they, they'll probably be a lot better by week 10 than they were earlier in the year. But, you know, uh, I, 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 yeah, I mean, it, it, this, this late, sure. Take it. It's not a high state game. I'll take it. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Kyle, back to you. Halfway through. Uh, why, why, why get off the train? Why get, why get off the train here? Let's pick another Ohio State game. Sure. And let's go. Let us go. Man, which, which one to do? Which one to do here? You know, you know. Let's, let's not. Let's. Let's let's get the week three out of here. I'll I'll, I'll pick the rivalry, the early oh, rivalry game here: Washington State and Washington. Oh, a dagger to the heart. <laughs> that was gonna be my next pick: Pac-12 after dark. Even though the Pac-12 sucks, it barely yep. exists. Mm-hmm. Still technically exists for this year. Still technically or- exists. All right. All right, Jared, who who do you got next? My turn. Um take a quick look at what we got here. Um 
again, I'm gonna just I'm gonna try and maximize my Ohio State presence. The Ohio State draws eyeballs. So I'm gonna go to week five. I'm gonna get Ohio State and Michigan State. Yeah, I like that. That was that was the one I was about to pull the trigger on. Yeah, I, I that wasn't in my short list of teams left, but I don't I don't hate it at all. Um, well, it's also a crap week. I mean, it's it's sure it, that is the first game any of us have taken from week five. Um, I think that there are other good games that week, but I think that's clearly the marquee game of for the Big Ten that week. I believe there is one Ohio State game left that we have not picked. Mm, yeah, possibly. Jared, I think you. Uh, yeah, the we, the teams thing is they gave us a okay. time warning, so um, just we might have to deal with that we'll in, in a little bit. Yeah, we'll, 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 do, we'll do an ad break. So yeah. right now, we'll um, now, not right now. Yeah. We'll finish it. Um, yeah, there there is one Ohio State game left that we have not picked. Is, it, is are you are you trying to throw a clue to Austin on that one? I'm just stating it for the audience. Okay. <laughs> I, I yeah no it's Kyle I don't really want it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good. I appreciate that, but I I'll, I think I'm gonna pass actually. Um, I will go to a week that I have yet to pick from though. Um, and yeah, I again, there's nothing left. It's huge value um but this is the only game that i like left from this week so i'll go to week 11 um and i will take iowa and ucla i don't hate it oh i hate it but it's the best of what was left so (laughs) what this late in the draft i don't hate it yeah um and i think now would probably be Good time to go to that ad break. We do a quick ad break and we'll reshuffle our our uh, meeting here. Yeah. So we're gonna take a quick ad break. Um, we're actually gonna maybe take a little bit of time here, but um, go ahead and make sure to avoid these ad breaks by going to patreon.thesloopcast.com. Um, you, you can sign up for as little as three dollars a month. You can do the entire year up front and i believe you essentially end up getting one of those months free if you do that um and if you're looking for other ways to support us you can go to merch.thesloopcast.com and buy some uh not ohio state gear but you might give the it might give the vibe of Ohio state gear in the, in the form of podcast merch. And if you don't want to wear podcast merch, you can go to seven zero seven one where there's a bunch of Ohio merchandise. doesn't look like it comes from a podcast. It just stuff, mostly just celebrating the state of Ohio and you can get all of that. Uh, if you might, if you're looking for any of these links, um, you, you can just, uh, go to the sloopcast.com and it'll take you to a page. It's a campsite page. You've seen them where there's a bunch of our links. So, uh, let's go ahead and take that ad break now. Now that I know it's UCLA, I actually do hate that pick a lot, a little bit more now. All right. And that's, that's fair. Right. Okay. And we're back. We're back. Um, we're doing it again. All right. Um, we are starting a new round with Kyle. Um, also, in, in case this doesn't make, I, I accidentally wrote USC before, not UCLA for that, for Austin's last pick. All right. My pick here. Oh, where to go? Where to go? There's a lot, a lot of, a lot of slim pickings now here. But I think I think what I'll do here, just because just because I think there'll be a lot of eyes trying to a lot of eyes trying to um watch some of the former Pac-12 teams here going up, going up against um 
the usual Big Ten teams here. I'm going to go Week Five. First one from Week Five for, oh no no never mind. Jared picked nope. one from Week Five. I, I'll I go sure with uh, Wisconsin. Wisconsin at USC. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Get get a U. I mean, USC is a valuable property. Absolutely, especially this year where they're going to be probably they have to be better. There's no way they can be much worse than they were last year. Yeah. I. Don't know if that's true, but we'll see. I actually really like my new quarterback, and I was notoriously a big non-Caleb Williams person. I won like seven games last year. Yeah. I also think he's going to flop hard in the NFL, but anyway, that's a different topic for a different day. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, It's the NFL. You you can't be bailed out by a supporting cast alone. Um, I don't like this game. But it's the only Ohio State game left. And if we look to see what other games are available, there's only one good Big Ten property in week four. And Kyle already got it with USC and Michigan. Um, so I think this is. Yeah, it's it's it, this is just a value pick at this point. Um, so I'm going to go to week four, Ohio State Marshall. Kyle also tried to pick that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I want to go ahead and take my week five because at this point we are getting to slim pickings. And yeah, if I, one of you just picked a this, Marshall game, yeah, if one of you is going to pick this as, as a wild card, I really don't want to lose my week five game that I haven't picked yet. So I'm going to take Oregon at UCLA. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one there. I'm actually going to use my my first wild card. Yeah. Use my first wild card uh, to screw over Jared here. As is tradition. As is tradition here. I'm going to go. I'm going to go week nine. Mm. I'm going to go. I'm going to have Sparty taking on their little brother up in Ann, over in Ann Arbor. I like that. It was on my list. Oh, Sparty boy, may not be. Sparty may not be good, but it's it's. It's a it's a well known rivalry. Yeah, I I don't I don't I I mean I hate to pick just because you kind of screwed me over, but I, it's a it's obviously a good pick. All right, Jared, where are you headed? Got a few gaps left on your. Got a few gaps. Boxes, yeah. Yeah. Um. I, uh, oh boy, it's bad out there, man. It's, it's, it is rough out here. It, it's green at Penn State. I'm not going to lie to you. I thought about There's it. 30 good games a year. That's <laughs> it. Um, yeah, it's, it's real rough out here, guys. How did week you eight, mark this? Is, week, uh, week eight is a sorry. snooze fest. <laughs> oh my yeah, god no one that's why no one's no one has touched that week yeah there's there's a reason um yeah and kyle totally just screwed me taking michigan michigan state oh boy pickings are TikTok. slim yeah i know i know tiktok tiktok you took the game i wanted screw you what do, you, what do you want from me? I love this you, you, here. you can't just take want, the game. You can't just take the game I, want I wanted. Hatred. I want hatred. See, here's, I want, here's I the want clickbait. Tears. I want tears. Yeah, there you go. Now you're getting the clickbait you want, Jared. <laughs> yeah. Uh, th- th- screw you, Kyle. Is, is this the end of the sloop cast? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Drama? Is there drama? Uh, I'm going to go to week... Man, it's it's it is actually really slim out here, guys. Yes, I've got hard. a list of yes. about eight more games that are. I'm going to week okay. twelve. Yep, I'm gonna take Nebraska at USC. Uh, that was gonna be my next pick, so I like it. Mm. Um, and since you're gonna take that, Jared, while you're on week twelve, uh, I was gonna wait for one of you to take a week twelve game. So I could take the other week 12 game that is feasible, which is UCLA at Washington. 
So I will take that as my week 12 candy. All right. I'm going to try and fill these in real quick. Um, and Kyle, while he's doing that, where are you thinking about going? Where am I thinking about? I mean, week eight seems. Please go ahead. Seems great to, to go towards, but. <laughs> uh, but I'm looking at the weeks. So I'm, I'm missing seven, eight, 10 and 13. Not, not many good, not many good games from those that, that are, that are left. Mm -hmm. There was one that had my eye on. I draw a blank of where where it went. Um, oh, did I pick it? it? Northwestern at Purdue's week ten. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's that one. <laughs> Wait a minute. You I didn't. Go... You weren't thinking about Northwestern at Iowa week nine. No. That week no. one Florida Atlantic Michigan State game is just really sticking out to me. Let's do. <laughs> It's it's just slim pickings here. Let's go to let's go to week ten here. Yeah. Let's do UCLA at Nebraska. Yeah. Not a bad pick. I mean, to get that this late, I, I like it. No, you never know how Nebraska will do. Maybe maybe they'll maybe they'll surprise us, and this could potentially be a a good game. I I don't think it's uh. I don't think it's Nebraska we have to worry about, to be honest yeah, with you. That's true. And that that's true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> All right, Jared. All right. Uh let's let's fill in week two. Um there's not a lot to choose from. It's it's we're gonna make a money play here. I was gonna go for it next. Okay. We're gonna make a money play on this one. I, I don't know if it's gonna be a good game, but it should attract a lot of eyeballs. Um, Nebraska, Colorado. Yeah, that's that's the right thing to do. I was gonna take it with my next pick. I mean it's it's gonna get you know, Dion I, he, he's gonna get eyes on the game. Yeah, I actually as I take this, I have to ask why the hell did we wait? Because if we're looking at this as television execs, which is what we're supposed to be doing. How did we let this one sit out there this long? I still think that all, almost all the other games are still better. But yeah, as television execs, Bro, execs, we probably should have taken it still to mark. It's easy to market. You know, you, old rivalry, Big 12, Colorado, Nebraska. You're right. We probably should have taken it a little sooner. But I can live with it. I have Texas, Michigan that week, so I'm not mad. That's totally fair. But now I am missing weeks one, three, and four. With and eight and eight, <laughs> yeah. Um, we're, we're just not <laughs> counting that. Um, but instead of picking any of those, I'm just going to go ahead and use my wild card, my last one, my second one, um, to just try my best to screw over one of you. Um, that's totally fair. And to do that, I think I have to take a game from week seven that I don't love, but again. It is a new Big Ten team coming from the West Coast, traveling to play in the weather. I'm going to take Washington at Iowa week seven. I don't, I don't, I mean, this late in the draft, I don't hate that at all. Yeah. No. I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all either. And now <clears throat> we're in trouble on the next few picks, but that's okay. By we, do you mean you? Me and the boys in the chat who are obviously so, on my side. What, what, oh, what, okay. game did, what game? What game did you think that the um, whiteout's going to be this year, or did they actually say what the whiteout's going to be this year yet? They they, ha they haven't said it, but I said Ohio State and Penn State. Okay. It almost always so, is. I think another. I think another. It, it actually, that. the last time Ohio State went to Penn State, it wasn't because yeah, they wanted it to be a night game and they played at noon. But the three games before that, I think it was. Yeah, I'm going to follow suit with uh, Austin here. I'm going to use my second wild card here. Potential, it could be a potential wide out here. 
welcoming a newcomer here, UCLA at Penn State in week six. Sure. Yeah, I don't, I don't hate it. I, I consider it. It was on my short list to be my second wild card pick. I mean, mm-hmm. it, it's tough because is UCLA a big brand in college football? No. Are they a good team? Also, no. Are they <laughs> new to the Big Ten? <laughs> You're yes. not helping. So <laughs> not only are they bad, they're awful. Um, no, but they it, at this point, you know, you got to fill in your week. It's mm. reasonable. I mean, he doesn't have to fill in his week. He, uh, he That was his wild card. But, you know, got to fill in your picks. <laughs> I was really trying to sell that for you. Yeah. <laughs> he tried his best and he failed. All right, Jared. Three more picks, I think. Four, four more picks. Yeah. Um, I don't know if that was, Kyle, an attempt to screw me over or not, because I didn't have a week six yet. Um, honestly, I'm fine with it. I, that was... I, I didn't see that game as any more or less valuable than the week six game I'm about to pick to fill in my week six slot. I'm going to go USC, Minnesota. Ooh, I would say Penn State's definitely a little more valuable than that, but still not terrible at this point. I agree, but I I don't know. I think can, Jared, but it, it's all right. Listen, I I one hundred percent acknowledge that Penn State's a better draw than Michigan State, but there's one LA team. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Um. If you have been watching my draft and analyzing it up to this point, you can go ahead and just uh, shut the program off because all the rest of my picks are about to be not fun with weeks um, one, (laughs) three, four, and eight remaining. Um, So at that point, I am just going to take the best week eight game available, um, which isn't saying a lot. Fair, but but not easy. (laughs) Like what? What? What is just to give you guys some highlights? Um, we've got what week eight Michigan. games are available. Go ahead and read them out for us. <laughs> Michigan at Illinois, Nebraska at Indiana, Iowa at Michigan State, USC at Maryland, Wisconsin at Northwestern, Oregon at Purdue, and UCLA at Rutgers. Now, yeah, I feel like there's two options to go with. And I'm going to uh, go. I think there's two less than that. <laughs> Jared is telling me I have to pick one. So <laughs> with that yeah. being yes. the case, I'm going to take, because it will get this team to watch it, and they're going to watch their team, I'll take Michigan and Illinois. They're the yeah. second biggest brand in the conference. There's not much more I can do. Yeah, I mean, that's totally fair. And they are the second biggest brand in the conference. If there's any Michigan fans watching, don't care what you say. Ohio State makes the money. <laughs> well, but, but, but NCAA football has all the... Sorry. Okay. What? Does what? Sure, sure. any of that word? I, I, they're as um, good as the words you're going to get from a Michigan fan. <laughs> all right. Kyle. By the way, congratulations to the Illini for finally getting a draft pick. Finally getting picked, yeah. <laughs> for the first seven, time, maybe ever. Seven, eight, and 13. I have to I have to pick a game from these, these weeks here. So... I guess I I guess I will do um I'll do week seven. I'll take Jared Spiting go gophers mm. heading over to UCLA. Yeah. I don't I don't hate that at this point. Slim slim pickings, but that's fine. Or the boat indeed, yes. spikes. Yes, yeah, spikes. Jared's <laughs> gophers. Jared's gophers. Not my gophers. There I said it. Are you happy? Big golden pony point. All right, Jared. You have two weeks left and a and a wild card still. 
I, I do, in fact, have all of those things. Um, I'm just going to pick a brand. Week 9 had some good games in it, um, but Kyle screwed me over uh, taking Michigan State and Michigan. So I'm just going to grab a brand out of Week 9 and say Rutgers at USC. Ugh. <laughs> I, there's, there's not any oh, yeah, what, I'm sorry was there a week nine game there you liked more other than the three you guys picked fair point <laughs> like I gotta pick the week it's still it's still gross and disgusting but you it's USC man it. they're the third biggest brand in the big ten and you know what I shouldn't live in a ha uh, glass house and throw stones because I'm gonna go to week uh, three and take Notre Dame at Purdue. So, <laughs> same logic. Um, I'm getting yeah. another Notre Dame game. Yeah, I was about to say. Uh, I'll take the Notre Dame brand traveling to Purdue. Well, I, I don't hate that for third to last round. And you know, the thing is, is that if I was actually like playing the role of NBC, I probably should have taken that. Yeah, big NBC game it's, on Because it's... Because it's Notre Dame and I'm NBC. And they'll probably end up getting in. in uh, life, I think but. I think we can actually look. I think the I think the, at least the first like premier rounds are already been picked. Um, I think this has already happened in real life. Uh, right. Notre Dame and Purdue will be on CBS. Oh, no shit. Look at that. Look at that. I'm basically a TV exec at this point. Yeah. And, and you know what? And guys, I did it for less money and, and later in the draft. So. Ooh. Yeah, you don't know you picked it later in the draft. You don't know that. I did. I don't know if they did, but I got better value. That's all I'm saying. You right. don't know that. You don't know <laughs> when it was picked. I'm just going to get my week eight out. And I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll just pick the brand that, that seems to be the trend here. I Is there a USC, brand? USC over, <laughs> um, heading over to Maryland. Yeah, yeah. that's fair. Sure. Man, congratulations to Maryland for finally getting a pick. They might get um, picked, I guess. <laughs> I'll leave that up to you. Right. Um, week eight in a in a wild card is Jared's last picks. Yeah, sure is. It's a wild card this late. Yeah, interesting strategy. Interesting strategy for sure. Maybe I have something Saving up my sleeve. Prairie View A and M at Michigan State in week three. Oh, you know I am. That's exactly what I'm. <laughs> Exactly what I'm doing. Is that Weber State, doing? Weber State no. in Washington. <laughs> no, no, it is not. Howard um, and Rutgers. That's <laughs> it. Howard in <and> Rutgers. <laughs> That's Howard's not a university. Howard's just a guy. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that even means. Where are we leaning, Jared? Um, you know, I'm gonna as as Austin correctly pointed out, second second to biggest brand in the Big Ten um is Michigan. So I got I got a Michigan game, a pretty decent Michigan game out there still. I'm gonna go Minnesota at Michigan week five. There could be worse picks. <laughs> this late in the this late in the draft. I I mean it's it's for the Paul Bunyan trophy. Yeah, that's true. Is it? I think so. One, one, of, one of those one of those trophies. One of the Paul but there's there's like seven Paul Bunyan trophies. <laughs> At least seven. <laughs> if you want to know more, Paul. if you want to know more, go watch Kyle and I's uh oh, yeah. trophy tier list episode we did a couple months back 
speaking of um all bunion trophies probably um gonna go to week four as you have to because i have to and i'm going to take villanova maryland iowa at charlotte indiana at state of penn state no uh i will take iowa at minnesota i don't you know you're it is what it is big 10 game but not bad iowa minnesota what's what what do you think the over under is on iowa minnesota 27 and a half that's I mean, I take the over on that, but I'd hate myself for it. <laughs> I mean, do you hey, know wait. what the Jared off the top of your head? What was the score between Iowa and Minnesota when they played this year? Do you know? Because I remember when the over under four came out last year. Do you remember the final score? I do. I'll not. give you a hint. It was under twenty seven and a half. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was twelve to ten. Minnesota won. Uh, man, that was a high scoring game for Iowa last year. Twenty two points. All right. Zero Last touchdowns round. by the Golden Gophers. And they won. And they won. <laughs> All right. So I have to pick a game in week 13. You sure do. Yeah. yeah. I, but I think there's a, I think there's, there's a big, I mean, there's a well-known team that's left in week 13. It's like, do you want, I'm going, do you I'm want, going to, I'm going a different route here. I'm going, I'm going to Wisconsin at Nebraska. I, I actually like that for that late for that being your last pick. That's not really. I, I'm, I think I'd have gone Penn state, Minnesota before that, honestly. Yeah. Mm, I mean, maybe. I, I would have gone Northwestern at Michigan personally, but yeah. Okay. I mean, they all suck. So that's fair. <laughs> it's, it doesn't really matter. All right, Jared, your last pick. Where are you? Uh, where are you going with it? The lovely week eight. Ah, uh, the week eight. Everyone's favorite. I'm just, I'm still typing Kyle's week I'm thirteen. Gonna... So, uh, a moment, please. Um, Wisconsin, guess... Nebraska. Uh, Wisconsin, Nebraska. Yeah. So week eight. Mm-hmm. I have left to pick in week eight, Oregon at Purdue, Iowa, at Michigan state, Nebraska, at Indiana, UCLA Rutgers. I'm not picking a second Rutgers game. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Wisconsin at Northwestern. This game might not even be in front of a crowd. Wisconsin, yeah. Northwestern. Probably won't. I, that, I think that's going to be a practice field game, which a might drive ticket prices up. You don't know. May. It, it won't. May. It won't. It will not. I said ticket prices. I meant TV ratings. Um, there aren't a, there aren't any good options here. Just to be clear, um, Oregon's one of the top brands on the Big Ten. Uh, screw it. I'll take Oregon Purdue. Would this be the week that Purdue screws over a team. It, sure. Probably. Who cares? Not. It's in in October. At Purdue, maybe a night game. It's maybe. well, I'm I'm NBC, so it it will be a night game. <laughs> In the universe of this draft, yeah. it's a night game. Yeah, yeah. All right, week one, Austin. <laughs> yeah, and I have six available games, which is Florida Atlantic at Michigan State, Western Michigan at Wisconsin, UConn at Maryland. Uh, the UTEP, um, my, what are they, the my, real Roadrunners? Are they the Roadrunners, or is that the other one? That's, That's UTEP, San Antonio. Uh, is, is UTEP the Miners out there? Yeah. 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 Sure. Uh, Idaho at Oregon, or Fresno State at Michigan. I forget Howard, Howard and Rutgers. I didn't even bother to write that on my sheet <laughs> but sure. eastern illinois and regular illinois sure. um i mean you have michigan versus wisconsin it's western michigan but it's a michigan team nonetheless yeah and i have a team from california against michigan yeah 
just just this event is it UCLA or USC. Um, but I think just with the brand, I think that's what I have to go with. I considered UConn and Maryland for the whimsy, but uh, I'll take um, I'll take Fresno State at Michigan. I think. That's yeah, you, fine. you get the brand. The Michigan brand. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Week one, they're the defending champs. You want to watch them, whatever. Look, look at this Astros. guy having back to back weeks having hosting Michigan games here. Hey, man. The, the brand is the brand. The second best in the Big Ten. I, I like money. Maybe Everyone tuning money. in late to watch the upset. See? Yeah, Fresno's definitely. Fresno State actually has a really fun quarterback. I don't know if you guys knew that. Okay, they're not gonna. I, I am on the Michigan is gonna. Su- I, Kyle and I, and we lose to Fresno yeah. State. Sucks. No. Before Jared goes on a big ramble here, we are way over on time here, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to end it here. <laughs> I'll. All right. Yeah. No, he's right. Kyle. Kyle's annoying and he's overbearing, but he's right. <laughs> uh, just before we go. Um, Number one, thank you guys for having me on again. It was lovely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. As always, um, and the Buckeyes got a really big uh, commit today. Yeah, we're yep. recording that was that was going to be the last thing I was going to bring up here. Hey, Kyle, uh, you, uh, th- we're way over on time. Uh, this is the end of the show. But do you have anything in Kyle's corner? Hey, there it is. The number two safety in the 2025 recruiting class. Verbal committing to Ohio State, Fahim Delane, out over in Maryland. Yeah, it could be the greatest um, DB class of all time. If they can pick up a couple guys, they have to bring in still, the two Ohio kids. Well, the still early. one kids Texas via Ohio, but Brew and McNutt. Yeah, yeah, bring in Brew and McNutt. Make sure Offord stays in the class, which is going to be difficult. Ohio State doesn't typically get kids from Alabama, um, so you got to got to hold that down. Um, and don't forget, they have Haddad too. Oh yeah, for sure. I just don't, I don't worry when we talk about like, I, he's not going, he's not going anywhere that, that, you know what I mean? It's, I, I, I'm not, I'm not afraid he's, he's leaving, but you know, McNutt and, um, brew aren't officially in the class yet. You're, you have the number one and number two, I believe corners, but they're both not even regional to Ohio state. They're going to be difficult to hold on to. I think if they complete, I think if they put a couple of weeks ago, we, or, you know, a couple of weeks ago, we did the mock. We did, we updated our mock. We did a 2025 mock. If they bring in that defensive back class that we mocked, which I think is highly possible, which by the way, we had, we had the lane in that mock for the record. Um, if they deliver that mock, if they deliver what we mocked, maybe the best defensive back class of all time. And I think the mock we put forth is totally realistic. Yeah. Um, cool. So also if you're watching on YouTube, comment below, who you think won the draft? I mean, we all know who won, but um and also make sure to wait it the, the, the way that should have been crazy we we all know who didn't didn't win yeah that's fair <laughs> kyle and i got joined first and jerry got fourth that's really the truth you have to wait it like of course kyle did well kyle got ohio he got he he had the draft advantage as being for being fox You're just saying first. yep big advantage um all right, cool. Cool. All right, that's it. That's the end of today's episode. Um, tonight's ending music will be brought to you by a band from Columbus called Courtney from Work. Uh, that's it. I'll figure out the song later. So yeah, uh, Courtney from Work, Columbus-based band, put on a great live show. Make sure to go check them out next time they're playing live. Uh Check out Bands in Town. If people don't know this, it's a great resource for finding concerts near you. Um, it's an app called Bands Bands in Town. Check that out. Um, especially if you want to like find the local music scene in your area and you just want to go see some $10 shows by some local bands. If you live in a major city, you'd be shocked at the talent that's out there who are just trying to make it. So go see some shows. 
Uh, check out Bands in Town. And if you live in Columbus, find the next Courtney from Work show and go to it. So they'll be ending today's show. So with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music. I always say it. It's not, I'm not, I'm not bullshitting you guys. Listen to the, listen to local music. Uh, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, this is Courtney from work. <laughs>